Shape guides can be thought of as a set of technical drawing tools. You'll find them under the precision menu, which opens from the status bar here in case it's minimized. Activate guide and you'll see the line tool appear. This one acts as a sort of ruler that helps you draw straight lines while retaining the dynamics of your brush stroke. The width of your brush is represented by the gray ghosting along the line here. Drag on one of the handles to reorient the line tool. To reposition it, drag on the crosshair in the middle. You can also use two fingers to adjust, just like with a selected item. The rotation and scaling of the guide can be restricted down here, or adjusted precisely using the measurement pop-up as usual. Each shape guide has its own function when you double tap on the crosshair in the middle. With the line tool, this limits your stroke drawn between the handles. When you need to zoom or pan the canvas, dismiss the guide with a single tap on the canvas. Now you can activate the guide again either by tapping on the toggle or by undoing your previous action. You'll notice that the line tool appears at its previous location even if we moved on the canvas. If we move completely outside the lines we just drew, the line tool appears in the middle in its previous orientation. Tap on the word line next to the toggle to switch to the next guide, which is the arc tool. The functionality of this is similar to the line tool, except that dragging the handles reshapes the curve of the arc. Double tapping on the crosshair resets the arc to a half circle. The ends of the arc always remain tangential to the line along the handles. This can be useful when it combined with snap, so you can smoothly continue at the end of a line. The next on the list is angle. Once again, use the handles to adjust the angle. If you activate measure, the angle of the tool will be displayed. The angle can be applied manually as well with the tap and hold directly on the value. This applies to values on other guides as well. Double tapping on the crosshair resets the tool to 90 degrees. A single tap on the value, while measure is active, sets a floating measurement label of the angle. Each shape guide includes this functionality in some way, but we made a whole video of floating measurement labels, so be sure to check that out. Next we have ellipse, which is essentially the same as arc, except being a whole loop. And finally, there's the rectangle tool. Something worth noting about this one is that oftentimes it's better to turn rotation off for easier control.